All right, so it's the end of December. I'm at high elevation in the Oregon Cascades. There's snow on the ground. There's not a cloud in the sky. And it is gonna be very, very cold tonight. Uh, it's 7 p.m. and we're already at about 25 degrees. So I don't know what it's gonna be at 5 a.m., but it's gonna be cold. How do you stay warm camping out in the winter like this? Well, fire certainly helps. Uh, but you can't take a fire to bed with you. It's true that if you go look for zero degree sleeping bags, um, a lot of the time they're very, very expensive. And that's because many times they're made of down. That's why when I found this on Amazon for $40, I thought, well, it's worth a try. It's not down, but it's a zero degree rated sleeping bag. One thing to bear in mind when you're shopping for cold weather sleeping bags is that the temperature rating is not about comfort, it's about survival. So a sleeping bag that's rated for 20 degrees is not going to necessarily allow you to be comfortable at 20 degrees, it's just going to keep you from freezing to death. So I have a zero degree sleeping bag. Um, my intention is never to camp at zero degrees, but if it can keep me comfortable at 20 degrees or 25 degrees, that's fantastic. A down sleeping bag is useful for a backpacker or someone who needs to conserve space because it can be packed down very, very small. As I make my bed before I even leave home, I really don't have a space issue as far as the sleeping bag goes. I don't mind if it's big and bulky. It does come with a stuff sack. I gave up trying to stuff the sleeping bag into this thing on the very first attempt. It's just not big enough for that much bulk. On a cold, cold night, you can really wrap this thing up around you. Being wrapped up like this really helps you retain heat. Because this is a mummy bag, uh, your movement is definitely somewhat constricted. Uh, even if you like to sleep on your side, it's pretty difficult to do. And I'm not even that tall. If you had longer legs than me, I don't think you'd be curling up at all in this sleeping bag. So far, the zipper's working pretty well. It's not always easy in the dark in the middle of the night to reach down and get it unzipped, in part because you just can't move around as much, but I haven't had any trouble with it binding or hanging up. The zipper does seem to be a weak spot in terms of warmth. Any cold that I feel, I definitely feel right along the zipper seam. I've had this for almost a year now, and it has kept me absolutely warm on every cold night that I've had. Granted, I think the coldest night I've had in the sleeping bag so far has been maybe 28 degrees, a few degrees below freezing. It's already colder than that now. We'll see how tonight goes. I'll let you know in the morning. Morning. Oh, I slept super well. Oh, I was super warm and cozy in this sleeping bag. The Coleman Zero Degree Sleeping Bag is bulky and seems to leak a little coldness along the zipper. The mummy design is constricting, but that would be true of an expensive mummy bag as well. On the plus side, this bag has kept me warm and comfortable through sub-freezing nights and for a very, very affordable price. Overall, I'm absolutely thrilled with this purchase and would buy it again without hesitation.